How do you take a DaVinci Resolve project from one computer to another? That's what we're talking about in today's video. So let's say you're working on a project with a friend or maybe your client wants your DaVinci Resolve project and you're not sure how to send it over to them. There's a couple different ways that we can do it. One way is if they have the media already, maybe your friend or your client has the media, and another way is if they don't have the media. So let's jump in Resolve. I'm gonna show you how we can do it both ways. And then I'm gonna show you how we can load it back up on a different computer. In DaVinci Resolve here, I've got a project that's all finished up. It's all done. I've delivered the product already. And let's say I wanted to share this DaVinci Resolve file with my buddy who I filmed all this stuff for at their local church. How do I do that? There's a few ways that we can do that. And we need to start by jumping into our project manager, the little house icon at the bottom of the screen. Now, when we bring up our project manager, this is my project right here. And I know this is a thing that people kind of get hung up on, especially if you're coming from a different program into Resolve, is that the project file is in this database, right? It's not separate in your project, you know, where you have all your project stuff stored on your hard drive, because Resolve works with a database. People coming from other programs are like, I don't like that, it doesn't work good. It actually, does. it works good once you get used to it. Just gotta get used to it. So let's say we only needed to send the project file itself. They already had all of the media. In order to do that, I can just select my project. I'm gonna right click on it. And then I would come down to export project. Now this is gonna send out just the project file. So it's gonna be the timeline and everything we see here in DaVinci Resolve, the cuts are gonna be there. But when you open it on your new machine, your media is not gonna be linked, right? You're gonna to have to relink the media. So as long as the other person has all of the media, it's named the same thing, they can just link up to it and you should be good to go. So let's do one each way. I'm gonna do one this way, I'm gonna export the project. And I'm gonna drop this DRP file in my project directory on my hard drive and I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so now that's good. We have just the DaVinci Resolve project file, which is a very small file. Now let's say maybe your friend or your client or whoever does not have all of the media that they need. In that case, you would come to your project, you'd right click on it and you would export project archive. Now this is gonna grab all of the footage that goes with the project and everything they need for DaVinci Resolve for the file itself. And it's gonna go ahead and export all that out. So I'm gonna hit export project archive here just so you can see what it looks like when it does that. So now we're exporting a DRA file. And if you saw my recent video about how to reload a DRA file, that's exactly what you would do with this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save in my project directory and Resolve is gonna package everything up in a nice little bundle for us, a DRA, and it's gonna put it wherever I tell it to on my hard drive. Now when exporting a DRA, you can include the media files, your render cache, all that. I'm gonna say no to the render cache, but I'm gonna include the media files so when somebody on the other side, I deliver the file to them, they can just open it up and it should work and be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And in this case, Resolve's gonna take a little bit of time because there are a lot of video clips that I filmed for this whole project. So it's gonna package all them up nice and neat. So once you've got either that DRA or the DRP file, you need one of these guys, right? Or some way to copy the media from your current computer and bring it to your new computer. Now, if it's over the network, you can just copy them that way. If you have to go from one location to another location, like I do, boom, little USB stick or something is gonna be the way to go. Now, how much space do you need on one of these little drives to move your project? Well, that depends. If you're using the DRP file, which is just the DaVinci Resolve file, that's pretty small. You don't need much space for that. But if you exported your project archive that included all of your media, well, then you might need a big uh, card or a big you know, USB drive or whatever. Depends on how many video files you had, but you can check the size of it. If we take a look in my file here, we can just select it, right click and choose get info or properties or whatever you've got on your machine. And you can see in this case, it's 22.56 gigs for this project, including all the media. Whereas if I was to use just the DaVinci Resolve file, that one is only five megabytes. So I could almost just email that if I wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these two files onto this hard drive. Then I'm gonna get my laptop and I'll show you how to load these up. So I got my external hard drive in there. I'm gonna right click. We're gonna copy these files, jump over to my little external drive there. I'm gonna paste these two in there and then we're gonna bring it over to the laptop here, get it set up and I'll show you how to load up these project files here on the laptop. So I must've had a really slow USB stick there because it was gonna take like six hours to copy over the DRA that has all of our media files in it. So I'm just gonna grab the DRP file, which is the resolve file. We're gonna load it up on the laptop here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then show you how you have to just relink everything real quick if you need to. So I've got the DRP file on the little jump drive here. We're gonna plug this in and then we're gonna copy it from the jump drive onto the laptop so we can load it up here in resolve. 
So we're just gonna come to our finder. Here's our test USB, and I'm just gonna drag this down to the desktop for now. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna head open up Resolve. Now as Resolve opens up here, real quick, if you had a DRA file, once you loaded it up here in DaVinci Resolve, everything would load up, all the media would be there, and everything would be just as we saw it originally on our other computer. Now in this case, we've got our uh, project manager open here. I'm gonna right click, and we're gonna go import project to bring in just our DRP file. So I'm gonna go import project, I'm gonna go ahead and find my file, which is this one right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click open. Resolve's gonna do its thing, bring in all the information, and load up that project for me. So once Resolve's done, you'll see it right here. It's in our project library here, our database. So now we can just go ahead and click open. Now when you send just the DaVinci Resolve project file and you open it up, this is what it's gonna look like, right? We're missing a whole bunch of stuff here. Everything is missing and we see in the edit page here, that's where I currently am, the edit page, we've got our little link icon up here, the media's offline. So we need to relink up that media. Now if your friend or your client has the media, all they have to do is click on the relink media and then go and find the top level folder of where all that stuff is. Now in this case, I didn't have it on my computer here, but let's say, oh, I got it on an external hard drive. So I'm gonna cancel this in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna plug in my external hard drive with all my footage on it. I'm gonna give that a second to load up, and then I can come and you can see that DaVinci Resolve actually found the footage, and that's because the file path onto this device is the same as in the project file. But you can see there's some things there that are missing. So what I would have to do is click on the link icon, and then I can go and browse for these additional clips. So in this case, we still have 119 missing clips here, so I can go ahead and hit locate. I can browse to my project file where I know they are. They're in the C100 Mark II folder, and then I'm just gonna hit open. And Resolve is gonna find those 119 files, and now they're all linked back up, it's good to go. Now I do have some music tracks in here that were on a different hard drive that are not on this one right here, so that I would have to relink or send the files. But as long as you have the files or the on one computer and on the other computer, you can just relink up and all you have to send is the DaVinci Resolve file itself. So I can cancel out of here, and now we can see I've got my footage, we're good to go. But if the other person does not have that footage, you would use that DRA file, and when you opened it in Resolve, you would come to your project manager, you would right click anywhere and say, restore project archive, and then it's gonna open it right back up in Resolve, and it's gonna have everything in there, it's gonna be all set up, you're gonna be good to go. I've got a video, I'll link it up here, uh, you can go check that out, and I'll link it down in the description below. You can head over, and that's gonna be just about DRA files, why you might wanna use them, how to create them, and then how to load them back up in Resolve. So that is it, DRA files and DRP files. Getting projects from one computer to the next here in DaVinci Resolve is not as hard as it might sound, even though we work with a database here, and I know some of you guys don't like that, but it's not too bad. It's pretty easy once you understand how it all works. And moving from one computer to the next, or from one person to another, to a client, whatever it might be, is pretty easy here in DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, with that said, that is it for this video. If you have questions, comment down below. I'm happy to help you out if I can. And oh, by the way, if you want to level up your audio, did you check out my new audio course, Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve? I'll link that up below if it's something you're interested in. Check it out and take your audio to the next level. All right, guys, with that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.